back to Studio One Vintage Guitars, New Zealand's home of vintage guitars and a Martin dealership. We are looking at the SC13E today. This is a 2021 model, and I'm very impressed with this guitar. It's a bit controversial in the Martin world, I think, for some because it's a departure from you know the the old way of doing things. But Martin has always been an innovative company, and this is them kind of venturing into the world, trying to bring some electric guitar players over to the acoustic world. Um, this is a very interesting guitar in the Martin kind of range. I, I am enjoying playing it because it has all the hallmarks of a Martin guitar, but it has some kind of features that aren't usual, and therefore it kind of it sounds a bit different um, and it responds differently. And it's impressive how it responds. So I'd say first of all, we'll kind of talk about its its uh, shape because it's. It's a hybrid of different ideas, but essentially we're looking at the triple O uh, style, so kind of like your OM triple O uh, body shape. But as you can see, it's a bit of a different body style. First of all, the cutaway is is a bit lower than the usual Martin cutaway. That's for more access up the neck. Um, it's also kind of a bit more down here. It's essentially an OM size here, but it's a little bit tall on the shoulder here as well. I think what they've done is by kind of changing here, and also wanting to get a little bit more projection out of the guitar, but with say, um, but keeping the dimensions, they've increased the size down here and up here. But up here, we kind of play, it still feels like a, a normal acoustic guitar. And for the, the player using a flat pick, it kind of puts you right in that perfect position. So uh, the, the top is scalloped treble side and, and on non, uh, unscalloped base side we also have an x bracing on the back kind of here and we have your standard ridges here um, the materials are Sitka spruce top and we have a zero cote back and sides and that's a veneer so it's not quite solid wood but it sounds very good we also have this kind of nice cutaway here in a way for the for the rest of the hand and you can see you have adjustment points here so it brings us to the neck because the neck has uh, the true align system which is Essentially, just in here, like where the um, where the serial number is, is you can kind of pinch this shim, pull it out, and put a new shim in to adjust the neck height. So that's for someone uh, maybe moving through the seasons and they don't want to take the guitar for a full setup, or you just you're very accustomed to how your guitar plays and you know you can move it up or down depending on what you want. Um, the fretboard down here is not touching the top, so that's like a floating uh, fretboard. The bridge is also a, a kind of a new, more modern shape, but it's similar to the belly bridge. Um, the tuning pegs are also different. They are a multi-ratio, so very fine gears on the low six string, so that kind of turns and tunes slowly, and it gets faster and wider gearing as you get to the high E. Um, you also, if you can see daylight through there, the uh, pegs themselves have actually been hollowed out, so they're lighter. So all in all, the guitars are very light and vibrant, and the, really the response is like, listen to the low end response. It's very full. Like it's, it's more full than most Martins you're gonna get off the wall. Um, you know, uh, but I do need to say, this guitar isn't designed to replace any of the Martins that we know and love. It's, it's just trying to, uh, you know, suit a different job. So if I really hammer this guitar, it doesn't really respond. It has, I should say, it has 11 to 52 um, custom lights on it, so light strings. So that's part of what's going on here. You know, when you have light strings, you can't hit them really hard because they just don't really like it. But, but for playing, you know, very, for playing at a, uh, nominal way so not hitting the guitar hard it responds equally and very well um, you know the backstory on this guitar is the development was happening over 10 years ago Chris Martin the fourth was kind of leading the charge he wanted something new to be introduced so they got all the expertise over at Martin all the custom shop builders and the players and all of that to work together to kind of build something that's new and modern and here to kind of compete with the other brands that are making stuff similar um, you know, kind of like the crossover instruments. Uh, if you remember Fender, they released recently a, like a crossover acoustic electric, which is essentially a strap, but hollow or semi-hollow. So this is kind of in the same uh, ballpark, but it sounds like a great Martin and really requires just a light touch. So 
you know, I was just thinking while I was playing this, if you're a player that plays really hard, I know that I do that often, and, you know, you don't always have to play really hard. This is a guitar that doesn't really respond well to a heavy hand, so this is maybe a good tool for someone if they want to learn to play a bit softer. Um, but just going through just kind of the standard ways of playing something like this, so I'll just first of all play the things that I'm, I usually play. So we've got custom lights on a slightly lighter strings, but I'll play... Um, kind of how I, I would usually play. So you can hear I'm kind of really driving everything. But if I start... So you can kind of hear when you, with a very light touch, you can get a very good response from this instrument. We'll just talk about flat picking for a second. Um... Play this kind of hard. So it's got volume to it. And I'd be interested to, to hear this guitar with heavier strings on it. I'm not sure if it's designed to have lighter strings or if it can have lights on it. I don't, I, I'm not going to assume that it can have mediums on it. But... giving away but but kind of just playing a very nominal way good output uh, we'll just uh Talking about the neck, it is uh, one and three quarters, uh, two and one eighths up here at the 12th fret. Uh, it's 13th fret to the body, if I haven't already mentioned that. Um, but what's really interesting about playing the neck is it tapers down. So once you kind of get to the the seventh, eighth fret, it actually starts getting a bit thinner. So it's very comfortable play. And the way that they've done it back here is it kind of thins all the way to the body, and it has a contour and angle that it goes through to the body. So it's a very smooth. Kind of transition from here to here in fact it's actually like a perfect kind of you know it's like a rocket or something take it off it's it's so smooth so yeah i i really like this guitar because it's just a representation of all of martin's innovation and um you know showing that they're still at the front of the pack when it comes to innovating in the acoustic guitar world what it does with some of the open tunings. So I had to really have to the only th I'm not I'm not sure about the multi-ratio stuff just because I'm used to tuning so much having it's kind of like a new something new to relearn but not hard to adjust to very very smooth It also has a uh, onboard electronics, so it has an LR bags element system. So I think you know part of the customer service uh, customers for this guitar would be say your electric guitarist that wants an acoustic guitar on stage, but it's not a big thick one. It, this is about the same um, thickness as, as a triple O or an OM. Um, but you know this is a great guitar for on stage for an electric guitarist. There's not much of a, a change with string tension. You know having 11s to 52s. 52 is getting quite heavy for an electric guitarist if you're not playing. But um, but having an 11 on here, that's pretty. You know that's not far away from you know your tens or eleven or nines. Um, we'll see what it does in open G. And a 
Big Joe Williams for you. Um, yeah, so very, very cool guitar. I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but if you're looking for, if you're in the Martin world and just love Martin guitars, I would definitely recommend having a good play at one of these and just see how it's familiar but also different. Um, if you're looking for something for a good transition from an electric guitar, this is a, a great choice. Um, yeah, very impressive guitar. So yeah, if you have any questions, um, get in touch with us. If you want to come and have a look at this, come to our showroom. Uh, my name is Nick Brightwell and we've got Josh Thomas behind the camera. Um, yeah, if you like this content, please like, subscribe and share. Uh, we're going to have a few more guitars coming up for you soon. We've got a brand new HD28 that we're going to do shortly. Uh, we also have a Gruen Spec 4 18. Uh, but yeah, we'll leave it there. So have yourself a good time. We'll see you next time. Cheers.